Welcome to the information session on Notre Dame's study abroad programs in Japan. Currently, Notre Dame works with four host universities in Japan. Sophia and Keio Universities, both located in Tokyo, Kyoto University in Kyoto, and Nanzan University in Nagoya. All four of these programs are ideal for students from the College of Arts and Letters. The Kyoto program, however, was established for the College of Science. Therefore, any science students who apply to the Kyoto program will be given priority during the application process. All four of our programs in Japan are also ideal for students who are a bit more independent because they are smaller in size. The SOFIA program will welcome about four students per year. Keio and Kyoto will each welcome two students per year. And the Nagoya program, on average, welcomes about four students per year. However, we do have a bit more flexibility with the Nagoya program in terms of the numbers of students that we send. All four programs are considered direct enroll programs, which means that our students will enroll directly into the host university during their semester abroad. This will give our students access to the full range of services and activities at the university throughout the semester. The Nagoya program is a bit different in that it is an intensive language program. Therefore, our students can expect to be studying alongside other international students as they all learn the Japanese language together. The Tokyo Sophia and Kyoto programs require students to be juniors at the time that they study abroad. They also must have a 3.0 GPA at the time of application. The Tokyo Keio and Nagoya programs welcome sophomores and juniors, but also require a 3.0 GPA at the time of application. A visa is required for all of these programs, however it is a relatively inexpensive visa and a relatively easy process. In terms of the calendar, the Nagoya program aligns almost exactly with the Notre Dame calendar in terms of dates for both fall and spring semesters. The Tokyo Sophia, Tokyo Keio, and Kyoto programs, however, follow the Japanese academic calendar. This means they are spring-only programs as the spring semester runs through from April through August. These programs are also eligible for academic year students, uh, in which case the year will run from end of October through end of August. A couple of special considerations. The Keio, Kyoto, and Nagoya programs follow the Japanese credit system. Therefore, classes are typically one or two credits each, and students are still required to enroll in a minimum of 14 to 15 credit hours per semester. So typically, students on these programs will be enrolled in a minimum of seven classes each semester. The SOFIA program has been structured to match a little bit more closely with the American credit system. Therefore, classes are typically three or four credits each, and it does make it a bit easier to align with our credit system. That being said, the Keio, Kyoto, and Nagoya programs have been running for quite some time, and our academic departments have been flexible in the past with the credits coming in as one or two each. Back to the calendar briefly, um, I typically recommend to students to consider whatever summer plans that they would have, usually following their spring semester abroad, and see if they can then swap it and make those plans winter plans. So in the past, we have had students who've been able to move internships to the winter instead of the summer to participate on some of these J Japan programs. In terms of academic information, Sophia University is, as I mentioned, a best fit for arts and letters students. They have a lot of courses in general studies, comparative culture, international business and economics, history, anthropology, sociology, and political science. The KO program is also the best fit for arts and letters students. They have many courses on Japan and East Southeast Asia in English, but also offer students the opportunity to take Japanese language classes. The Kyoto program is the best fit for College of Science and College of Arts and Letters. All courses are taught in English, which is the case for all four of these programs, um, except for part of the Nagoya program, which I'll get to in just a second. The courses on the Kyoto program are generally in environmental sciences, math, biology, chemistry, physics, political science, psychology, history, philosophy, and more. The arts and letters style courses typically do focus on Japanese culture. The Nagoya program is kind of a mix of both. 
Because it is an intensive Japanese program, students are taking eight hours of Japanese language during the semester. The remaining credit hours that they take will be Japanese focused subject area lectures taught in English. So it will be half and half essentially. Half the class is taught in Japanese and half will be taught in English. But in Sofia, Keio, and Kyoto, all classes will be in English unless a student is looking to take something in Japanese. Regarding housing and meals, um, in Tokyo, both at Keio University and Sofia, the student residence halls are spread throughout the city. So students need to expect a commute of up to about 45 minutes to get to class each day. Um, housing typically involves private rooms, but usually with some shared facilities. So in Tokyo, the students can expect private rooms to themselves. In some cases, they will have to share a kitchen, a living area, etc. Students will live with local and international students, so it should be a good mix of people that they will meet while in Tokyo. In Kyoto, Kyoto University has seven international houses. Students will apply to one of those houses and have private rooms with shared facilities. Only one of those houses is within easy walking distance to the university, so if a student is placed in one of the other six, they should expect a short commute. Kyoto is a bit smaller than Tokyo, so the commute will not be as long. On Nagoya program, there are actually two different options for housing. The homestay program uh, will allow students to stay with a local Japanese family. If they choose this option, two meals per day will be included, but they can also expect to have a 30 to 60 minute commute to get to class each day. That being said, since this is an intensive language program, staying with a local family is a phenomenal way to practice the language and it is the recommended option for housing on this program. Students do have the option, however, of choosing a dormitory on campus. It's not actually on campus, it's very close to campus. Um, <clears throat> with the dormitory option, there will not be as long of a commute, it will be quite short, um, and it is available to all non-Zon students. The dormitory option will have single rooms with shared facilities. Most of these programs will not provide meals with the exception of the homestay program. Therefore, students will be provided with a monthly stipend to offset the cost of meals, and it is recommended that they utilize the kitchens and the dining halls to, to um, prepare their meals or to eat at local restaurants. In terms of special opportunities, the SOFIA program has a couple of really interesting things. The Student Supporter Program is essentially a buddy program that will match our students with a local student prior to their arrival. This will help our students acclimate a bit better to the SOFIA and Tokyo lifestyle. They also have a Global Network Student Volunteer Organization, which will help match students with volunteer opportunities throughout the Tokyo city. Um, SOFIA also has a bunch of field trips, cooking classes, and cultural activities to help our exchange students better connect with the local culture. At KO, students have the opportunity to join one of over, or many, of over 400 student clubs and societies. Um, they also host a bunch of school festivals throughout the year, and they like to take students to baseball games, which is one of the most popular sports in Japan. At Kyoto, students can experience a bunch of festivals and concerts. They also have a student volunteer program that will connect students with volunteer opportunities throughout Kyoto. They also have a variety of student clubs and sports for students to join. In Nagoya, there is a multicultural exchange lounge where students can get together to learn a little bit more about each other's cultures, since on this program, they can expect to interact with students from all over the world. The Japan Plaza is another option for our students to connect with locals, since it's less likely on this program that students will be in class with local Japanese students, this Japan Plaza gives our students the opportunity to interact and practice their Japanese with local students. The Nagoya program also includes several field trips and day trips throughout the semester to help introduce our students to local companies and the culture. Please visit our website at studyabroad.nd.edu for more information on these programs. If any of them have caught your interest and you would like to apply for the 2022-23 academic year, applications are now open and you must apply by November 1st.